Good evening and welcome to today's meeting. And in today's meeting, I'm just going to walk you step by step. Um, first, we'll look at what the Binance Auto Invest is all about, okay? So what we'll be looking at today's meeting is Binance Auto Invest, all right? So I'll tell you what Binance Auto Invest is all about, okay? After that, there is a new feature that Binance actually added to the Auto Invest, which is the portfolio plan. Okay, I will show you that new feature and how to use it, how you can be able to use the auto invest, leverage on it and use it to build up your crypto portfolio. Okay, so that is what I'm going to explain to you step by step in uh, today's meeting. All right. And at the end of the day, I will allow you to um, ask your questions. Okay, um, I will allow you to ask questions uh, based on the presentation I'm going to give to you and then I will throw more light on that. All right. So Binance, as we all know, is a popular crypto trading exchange, okay? One of the best out there that you can actually use to do a lot of things, all right? And back in 2021, okay, um, the auto invest was actually um, launched in 2021. That was when they started using that feature in 2021. And since 2021, it has actually uh, been helping uh, a lot of persons to a lot of users, okay, to... Uh, build up their crypto portfolio using what we call DCA, okay? And then DCA stands for um, um, dollar cost averaging, all right? So auto invest in Binance, it, it, you can actually find it on the N tab here, okay? This N tab, if I come in on the N tab, that is where you can find the auto invest. It is a product under this N tab. When you click on the N tab, there are a lot of products that you can see on the end tab option here, okay? So auto invest is one of those products on the Binance and uh, platform or end package, okay? And what it simply does is that it allows you as a user to earn passive income through purchasing crypto, okay? Via uh, the dollar cost averaging system, all right? Which is uh, otherwise known as DC, all right? And when we talk about dollar cost averaging is a method of investing little by little. All right, so let's say you have ten thousand dollars that you want to invest into crypto in the year 2022. All right, and what expert will advise you is that instead of coming in today that crypto or bitcoin, for instance, if you want to invest in bitcoin, instead of coming in today that bitcoin is uh 41,000 and then buy the whole of that ten thousand at 41, what expert will advise you to do is to use implement what they call dollar cost average, okay, to split that ten thousand into a month or into two months or three months, all right? And that will favor you more than buying today. For instance, if I buy crypto or Bitcoin today at 41,000, right? And then tomorrow Bitcoin gets down to 42, um, to, to 40,000, to 39,000, you'll be losing, all right? So instead of doing that, you can buy a portion of that 10,000 today, okay? And then when it, if tomorrow comes and Bitcoin goes down to 39, you can still buy more. And if it goes down to 35, you buy more. If you come up to 30, 40 again, you buy more. In that, uh, if you use this system, which is called dollar cost averaging, at the end of the day, you see that on the long run, you are benefiting in one way or the other with your investment, all right? And that is what the auto invest simply helps you do, okay? It helps you as a user to use the dollar cost averaging type of investment to invest and build up your crypto portfolio. Okay, that is what the auto invest is all about. All right. And then the new um, option that Binance actually added to it, which is the uh, portfolio plan, helps you to invest in multiple cryptocurrency at the same time. Okay, you can select multiple cryptocurrency. I'll be showing you that in a moment. You can select multiple cryptocurrency at the same time and invest in it. All right. So automatically, what that does is that it just keeps investing for you automatically without you being there to monitor, okay? If it is on a daily, you want it to go every day at a specified time to invest. If it is on a weekly, if it is every two weeks, if it is every um, one month, all of that, I will show you how to go about it, okay? And that is what um, uh, the auto invest helped you to actually do, all right? So um, some of the benefits you should be looking at is, uh, number one, I mentioned the, the use of dollar cost averaging is that you can invest, all right? Um, the auto invest can help you invest this um, whatever amount you have set aside, 
automatically without you being there to monitor it. Just go ahead and do the setting as I will show you a moment, and then automatically it keep investing for you. Okay. And one good thing with the Binance Auto Invest is that while you are auto investing, okay, the system, if you enable it, the system will automatically be staking those coins for you. All right. Meaning that the auto invest you are making can be any passive income for you as well. Okay. So there are a lot of things why you should use dollar cost averaging. Um, even if you don't have ten thousand dollars, all right, because a lot of people are saying, "Oh, uh, Bitcoin is now forty-one, Ethereum is now three thousand or two thousand, uh, BNB is now four hundred plus." How do I invest in this? Well, you can actually start buying BNB ten ten dollars every day if you can, or you can do it ten ten dollars every week if you can, or ten ten dollars every two weeks, or ten ten dollars every one month, and at the end of the day, you will notice that you have been able to accumulate enough. BNB for yourself without waiting to have that much capital at once to buy. All right. So that is all of this that I've said um, is what the auto invest option helps you to achieve with the Binance SDK. All right. So to be able to assess the auto invest option, you come in here to the end tab. All right. You can assess your end tab here on the home page. So once you come into the end tab, I'll go ahead and click on it. All right. So once I click on the end tab, these are all the products that are on this end tab. We have the auto invest, we have you know savings, we have lock staking, uh, BMB vault, launch pool, and so on. Okay, so these are all that you gain from the auto invest page. All right. So our focus this evening is on the uh, sorry, these are all that you can have access to on the end tab. All right. All right, so our focus this evening is on this auto invest option, right? So I'll go ahead and click on the auto invest. And when you click on the auto invest, it will take you to the auto invest page. All right. Currently, I am auto investing. I'm using the dollar cost um, averaging and style of investment with the auto invest to invest in Ethereum, as you can see here. All right. So I've been investing, and this is uh, buying for me on it, uh, I think, every two weeks. Okay. It buys um, some Ethereum from me every two weeks. It buys some Ethereum from me, and automatically it reinvests the, the 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 money, the Ethereum that I buy into the Binance uh, saving um, option. Okay, so now when you come in here to the auto invest, if I scroll down here, you see that the auto invest has a lot you can select from. Okay, so you can select from um, the first one here is BNB. You can auto invest in BTC. In Ethereum, in Solana, in, in Luna, uh, okay. And then when you say view more auto invest product, if I click on view more, it will load up more options for you where uh, you can go and see all of the tokens that you can invest in. All right, FTM, Avalanche, Ada, Dodge, all of these, okay, Mati, and the rest. All of these are all you can invest in. All right. So to be able to invest in this, for instance, if I want to want to invest in BNB, I'll come in here to this BNB option and go to where it says choose plan. All right. So I just go ahead and click on the choose plan. And when I, I, I select that, it will not tell you subscription amount. Okay. This is where you are going to put your subscription amount. All right. If you want it to be USDT, whatever you want it to be, that is what you are going to use it. Now, if I click on this, you can do in, B, in USDT or BUSD. All right. So the, the funds will always be in this table coin, in this two stable coin. All right. Meaning that you need to have USDT or BUSD standing by on your spot wallet to be able to carry out this auto invest option, all right? So you put in the amount here, and the minimum you can put is uh, on this auto invest is ten dollars. There is no maximum. You can put as much as you want, but the minimum you can start with is ten dollars. And then the recurring circle will be um, the options we have here is daily, weekly. By weekly, that is every two weeks, which is the one I'm using, and then monthly. All right. So you can select that, and then your time here will be on your own local time. If it is eight, okay, do you want it 8 p.m. every 8 p.m. to buy for you, or every 8 a.m. to buy for you? You go ahead and specify that. All right. So once you are done specifying that, if I scroll down here, you see this option where it says um, use flexible savings. Balance. So automatically, if you want to be buying hundred dollars every month, okay, if you want to be buying BNB one hundred dollars every month, what Binance will do is that automatically it will invest 
this hundred dollars for you in the finance savings. For every other coin, he uses the finance savings. Once you enable this, it will invest it for you using the binance saving but the bnb if it is bnb you are doing okay you are investing in the bnb will go to the bnb vault okay in all all of them are still making profit for you um, on, on the long run okay so after that you go ahead and check to agree to the binance auto invest um, terms or and condition okay after that you then click on this confirm button here and that will automatically be um, there for you okay and at the end of the day you see the summary here all of the summary will be shown here to you okay you you, you will create the auto invest this day okay and then the period the amount per period if i've added amount then let me go ahead and add that let's say we want to do hundred dollars okay so 100 usdt all right so if i scroll down you see all of the summary so we are going this is the date you start this is what you are going to invest and then the auto invest date will you know the first auto invest date will be this date okay and then you go ahead and click on confirm and that will be started for you that is how you go ahead with the auto invest and you can do this one after the other you can do for bmb you can do for btc you can do for ethereum all of the coins that are supported on the auto invest you can do that okay and then the new feature that is added okay is this one called the portfolio auto invest plan and one good thing about this is that it allows you to invest in multiple coins at the same time. So if I have a $100 to invest in crypto every month, instead of just investing it in BNB or in Ethereum at a time, okay, what I can do is that I can go ahead and invest that $100 into more than one coin at the same time, okay? And you can do this every month, all right? So if I go ahead and click on this choose plan here, okay, this portfolio, if I go ahead and select this portfolio by clicking on this choose plan, okay, let me click on it. And once I click on it, the first thing you see here is where it says add coins, okay? Where it says add coins, meaning that I can add more than one coin. So I go ahead and click on that. And then these are all the tokens that you can select from, all right? These are all the tokens you can select from. And here you have to choose um, at least two or more coins. Okay, so let's say I have two hundred dollars to be investing in crypto every month, and I want to split it among some of these tokens. All right, so I want BNB to be on it. Okay, I want to equally invest in Luna. Luna is actually another good product to invest in, uh, and then Avalanche, then FTM. I can do that for FTM as well. If you want Litecoin, if you want Mana, I can do for Mana as well. Okay, I've selected about five of them. I go ahead and click on Confirm. All right. So this is what I want to invest in. And what one thing you need to notice here is um, the this percentage area. Okay, you can allocate how you want it to be split. The amount you want to invest can be split into percentage in this token. Okay. So let's say I have two hundred dollars and I want to invest that. Now, one thing you need to notice here is that the percentage has to accumulate up to add, add to add up up to hundred percent. All right, so whatever you are going to split here, at the end of the day, all of them need to add up to 100%, okay? So if I have $200 that I want to invest, I will say, okay, 10% um, of that $200 should go to BNB, all right? Uh, another 10% to Luna, okay? Then another 10% to Avalanche, all right? Then um, that is um, about 30% uh, gone, so, 20% should go to um, FTM, and then the remaining 50% can go to MANA, all right? So that is how you go ahead and split that. So after doing this, the next thing you want to do is the subscription amount, okay? The subscription amount will come in here, and then if it is in USDT or in BUSD, you go ahead and select whatever option that you want, okay? So I'll put the amount, as I said earlier, $200 every month. That is what I want to do. And then here you select if it is BUSD or USDT, you want to have the amount in. And I want to be, I want this to be every month, okay? So when I select monthly, you see that the date of the moon changes. So I can put the date between 1st to 28th of every month. So when do I want this to invest? I want it to be on the 1st of every month, okay? So you go ahead and put in, um, first day and then the time i want it to be 8 p.m on the first of april month and that's all okay here you will see the summary 
okay? And here you only enable this, all right? So you can enable this, and then it will enable all of the tokens that you selected here, except for BNB, will be on the flexible savings, okay, for you. And then the BNB can go into the BNB form. All right. So after that, you go ahead and select uh, this option to accept the terms and condition of finance. Okay. Once you select it, you go ahead and confirm. All right. Once you confirm that here is the date that this auto invest will start. All right. So each time that this starts, all right. So Binance will automatically split. 10% will go to BNB. Of my $200 will go to BNB. 10 will go to Luna, 10 will go to Avalanche, 10 will go to FTM, and then 50 will go to Mana, all right? So this is how you can invest in multiple co coins, okay? On a monthly basis or on a daily basis or on a weekly basis or every two weeks using the Binance Auto Invest option, all right? So for those who just want to be buying and holding, okay, on a long term, and you don't have the poor money to buy at one, the best option is to go and build up a portfolio using the Binance Auto Invest option. And then once you do this, automatically you need to have funds, okay? If it is USDT or BUSD you want to use, you need to have that amount ready in your spot wallet, okay? And every day or every week or every two weeks or every month, Binance will automatically be investing that money bit by bit for you, all right? So basically that is the whole thing I have to present to you this evening, you right? So that is all I have for you guys this evening for the auto invest, all right? So you can now unmute yourself, ask your questions. If there is anything I didn't mention here that you want to clarify, you want more clarification on, you can ask your questions and I will attend to them. That is, if, if we invest, that is the going to auto, auto invest. Please, uh, I can't hear you. Can you take the question? I can't hear you, please. If I use auto, auto invest yes. and I don't want to use it again, I want to leave just to get my money back. How will I go back? Okay, okay. So um, you can see my screen, right? So I'll go back to the end again, the end tab, and then I'll go ahead and click on auto invest. All right. I currently have one auto invest running, which is this one you are looking at right now. Okay, yes, so if for any reason, and this is what I want you to know, the next auto invest will be carried out on this date, all right? That is the date the next auto invest will be carried out. If you don't want it to go any longer, all you just need to do is to toggle this to up it, all right? You just toggle this and it will go up. Then the auto invest will no longer buy for you, all right? So that is how you go ahead. Just toggle this off, and then the auto invest will no longer buy for you. All right. All right. So that is it about the auto invest for for Ayo. Any other question as regards the auto invest option? Please, if you have a question, unmute yourself and, and ask your question. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Yes. Okay. Uh, in that case, so automatically when you remove yourself from auto invest, so your money goes to your Ethereum account, right? So once you switch this off. Okay, once you switch this off, it means that the auto invest will no longer buy automatically for you. All right. So the yes. next thing you want to do is to come in here to where it says accumulated profit. All right. So your savings are equally making you money here. So all you just need to do is to redeem it here. So once you click on redeem, automatically the funds will be returned to your spot wallet. All right. And then you can okay. use it. Yes, you can use it to do whatever you want to do. Okay. All right, sir. Yeah, so because you are seeing savings balance here and then the accumulated profit is here. So if you just click on redeem, automatically all of them will be redeemed to your spot wallet and you can start using it. Okay. Yes. Thank you, sir. All right. Any other question as regards this?